Kevin Giffen, head of patrol at Fernie, BC, isn't the type who likes to sit around, but he's headed out on a professional exchange trip, and where he's going seems worth the wait. His host, fellow patroller, Linda Holland. In Norway, pretty much everyone skis. I think I have like one friend that has never skied at all, and everyone thinks she's weird. <laughs> we say we invented skiing. I'm not sure if it's true, but you know, I choose to believe it. I'll ski until I'm a hundred. <laughs> when I started to ski because in Norway you pretty much learn when you're like two. I'm kind of like a part of the culture. I'm a ski patroller at Tromsø Alpinpa and I've been doing it for a couple years now. The snow we've had this week has been crazy. It's been snowing like mad. So it's been a little bit sad having people come here because it's been so snowy and they'll see like a tiny little glimpse of something that isn't even that pretty and they'll be like, whoa, and they've seen nothing. <laughs> It's really fun taking Kevin to Tromsø Alpine Park. It's pretty different from what he's used to. When you're in charge of a crew of people, like say all A-type personalities, you try to have a crew of people that are not afraid to take charge, but it's a balance, you know, and you learn to live with what that is. Following Linda around and some of the tasks and duties that they have, you do a couple of main things with patrolling. You've got risk management and you're trying to mitigate the risk. And they do the exact same thing there in Norway. For any patroller, work comes first. But the job has obvious rewards. I grew up in the country, a small town. You know, we don't have mountains anywhere anywhere the eye can see. But I learned to ski in Fernie. I think I was 24, went there. I became a lifty and started skiing and kind of then worked my way around the mountain to the different lifts. Safety is serious business at Fernie. In fact, there aren't many other resorts that use more explosives than Giff and his crew. Thought we were gonna ski sun and spring like corn stuff, which I don't get a lot in Fernie, uh, but it's been a lot like home. Snowing, blowing, windy winter. Kevin and Linda are joined on this trip by Marcus Caston and Kalen Richardson, two former racers turned big mountain rippers. Let the fun begin. Norway is one of the more unique places in the world I've ever been, even in the fog. It's just a rugged part of the earth. People live here, you know, it's, <laughs> it's a pretty wild place to settle down. So many people say, oh my gosh, that's crazy. Climb up those mountains for a couple minutes of pure joy. Yeah. A couple minutes of pure joy, that's totally worth it. Did you know there's such a thing as a world happiness report? And take a guess at which country ranks number one. The avalanche hazard has been a little bit high, so we've been kind of staying a little bit low angle and staying in the trees to be safe. Marching around, getting to the snow. There's a fjord there, a farm here, and a mountain there. And here, you have access to it all. There's no like, oh, you can't go on my property, go up to that mountain. It's like, come on in. 
Um, we haven't really been on any big peaks yet. I hope we get to do that before they leave because they need to see it. And we're like, this is pretty beautiful. We're going to ski powder. That's not so bad. She's like, but you just don't understand. <laughs> been like hip deep. Even Marcus and Kaylin and Kevin were impressed. Like they're from Utah and Canada and they have good snow, I've been told. <laughs> Even Utah and Canada wish it could always be this good. Linda comes rolling down just screaming, oh my goodness, the snow is so good. <laughs> it's so beautiful here. I just can't believe you can't see it yet. I just want to show you. And then it happened. Everywhere you looked, it was like, there's another one. There's another one. What are we going to do? Can we go over there? Traveling with experienced snow safety pros has its perks. I would take Kevin on any trip I'd ever go on. He's always assessing the situation, uh, making sure we're doing things the right way and in a safe way. He's very in tune with the mountains. To have his knowledge here, really been comforting, especially with the conditions that we've had, to tell us, yeah, I think we're good here. Yeah, we're good here. We have all these ambitions and goals and want to go ski these beautiful peaks and sometimes it just won't let you, you know? You got to play it safe. You can't force it. The mountains are a boss. When I was little, I was pretty curious about things, I guess. And I still feel like I sometimes am like just curious to see like what's around the next bend and like get to the top just to see what it looks like. And it's fun to push yourself a bit and do things that you couldn't do before. Progress, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> it almost distracts you making turns, but you're just looking right out at the water, kind of mesmerized. All the little mermaids are out there swimming around, just waiting for you. It's a nice spot. What keeps me coming out to the mountains, it's just, you can go places nobody has ever been before and that's, that's a really nice feeling. Every time you come to the mountains, you learn something new because it's never the same. You just have to figure it out pretty much. <laughs> the magic of a mountain pulls people in. Wherever you go, you fall in love with it. And the more places you get to go and you just kind of realize, everyone's just like you. They just love skiing. Whether it's North America or in Europe or places like this, you just can't help but love being in the mountains. I'd follow Linda and Kevin up any mountain. Linking up with two ski patrollers in mountains like this is definitely an asset. But every day when you go out, it probably will be different than what you expected. That's what makes you feel alive, is embracing it. If I take someone skiing and they like tell me, ooh, this is really beautiful, I feel like I take it personally. I'll be like, thank you, I know. <laughs> if you can give someone a good experience in the mountains, like the adrenaline and the amazing feeling when you've been skiing a great line. If they can just have like a tiny piece of that, then that's worth a lot. I don't know how it's for me. So, yeah, it's going to stick up with ski. That means you want to go skiing? So if someone says yes, then they're my best friend right away. <laughs> they can come skiing with me. <laughs> it's nice to know We've all got a new best friend in Norway. <laughs>